Hey everyone, Phil, Miller Angler Fishing, heading out here today to Corona Del Mar Jetty. Um, see what we can get here. I'm gonna try to be getting maybe some perch, some bass. There's usually a whole slew of things you can catch off the jetties here. Lots of different species. Um, I have some mussels with me here. Got some lures. So uh, we're gonna just go out here for today's adventure and uh, see what we can catch. All right. We gotta go all the way to the end out there. It's a little bit of a walk, but uh, we'll get there. Okay, so I made it to the end. Whew, man, what a walk, <laughs> I'm telling you. So, usually when I come out here, like I said, there's a variety of species you can catch. Um, usually I try to usually throw like a something on the surface first, see if there's any maybe barracuda, um, you know, any uh, mackerel around, just for fun, you know, just kind of get an idea. Um, I can cover a lot of water this way and get a basic uh, rundown of what's going on. Uh, no luck on those mackerel or the bonita, then I'll switch it up, maybe start throwing some mussel out here, maybe chum up the waters a little. Um, there's a bunch of bait out here, so hopefully that should be a good, uh, good indication that there's fish around. So let's see what happens here, guys. You ready for this? guys <laughs> little micro bonita little guy there is a lot hold on here oh there is a ton of bait off the end of this jetty right now but uh yeah i got a little bonita i haven't caught one of these in a while um but man they're a beautiful fish so fast aggressive oh my god this is awesome i'm gonna let him go he's just a little guy but uh that is actually pretty cool to catch a bonita been a while. There we go. It's funny, I actually uh, let that drop down a little bit. Um, down to the bottom, I was reeling it up along the rocks and uh, got a calico bass. This kind of shows you can catch all kinds of stuff here. Those bonita kind of left. Um, I haven't seen them. There's still a lot of bait around this this, uh, this jetty though. There's tons of bait. I mean, lots of small, like two to three inch anchovies it looks like. So there's probably a lot of uh, predators around, just like this guy, you know. So I'm going to keep working in it. That was actually on one of the uh, one of the jerk shads, the five inch uh, sart. Uh, I think it's called the anchovy color, but uh, that bass went for it. I'll let him go. Ah, he ate the bait off. I gotta go change it. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna try a, another technique here. I'm gonna. Um, I got some mussels. I'm gonna. Cut up a bunch for bait, set them out, get them ready. Um, all the shells, I'm all throwing right out in front of me, right in this little hole. So the idea is to attract the fish in with the shells, because that smell is going to permeate throughout that whole section, should pull them in. And then I'm just going to use a little split shot weight, little crimp on one, tiny one, a small hook. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Really small hook and a chunk of mussel. And um, if it all works out, I should get some perch that way. Um, maybe even more, a different fish, cabazon, uh, sheephead, bass, you know. They all like that mussel. So what I'm going to start doing right now is cut up all these mussels and chum them in. 
Okay, I chummed him up pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna go right down here. Just gonna throw it out, and uh, I might have to add a little weight. There's a lot of little bait fish around that are probably gonna eat this, so if I can't get it past them, I'm gonna put a little extra weight on uh, just to get it down past those bait fish. Gotta get to the bigger ones, so that's the basic setup right there. It's a little crimp on weight and chunk of muscle. It's about a size eight hook. Another species, uh, opali perch. Sorry, this thing's a little off. There we go. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but his eye is completely blue. Um, they're actually really cool fish. They have that little spot right on their back that, uh, you know, definitely shows them. But that olive green color is like dead giveaway. They're a tough little fish, man, but uh, this guy's not that big. But he does have some sharp spines, so I'm trying to be careful here. I'm going to let him go. I don't usually keep a lot of the stuff that I that I catch but um, this guy's gonna he's gonna get let go but yeah let's see if we can get another different type maybe a buttermouth or rubber lip perch Well, another opali. Ugh. There's a whole lot of them down there. And again, I think because I threw a lot of that bait, that chum, uh, they're kind of in the area. They can smell it. I just actually stepped on a couple of the mussels. I just crushed them. And then I threw them out there uh, for extra smell. And uh, that definitely helps. So. If you have a bunch of mussels, use a few to chum, it'll, it'll help bring the fish close. Alright, different species now. Another species. Yeah, it's called a it's called a blacksmith perch. Um, right there. Actually, kind of cool. Uh, really pretty fish. Tons of them. They don't get very big though. They can be a real nuisance sometimes when there's a lot of them. They school up. They'll just eat everything off your hook. Um, but that is still a really cool fish. <laughs> he hops away. Another species here. Uh, this is a uh, blue perch. Uh, he's kind of a little guy. Kind of swallowed that hook. I think I'm just gonna break the line. He probably has a better chance of surviving than me trying to rip it out. Um, but yeah, uh, it's another species. These are really fun to catch. And when they get a little bigger, and you're using light setup, man, these are really t fun fish. <laughs> They're really good fighters. Um, I've got some big ones over at Catalina that were like two pounds. Man, they were tough fish. But anyways, we're gonna let this guy go. He swallowed it. I said, I'm just gonna break the line. 
and uh, that'll give them a better chance of living. That hook will probably rust out in a couple days. All right, so that would be Bonita, Calico Bass, Opali, and um, Blue Perch. Got four, four species so far. I can still get a couple more maybe, so I'm gonna keep on trying. This is a pretty cool fish. Uh, I believe this is called a, a kelp wrasse. I don't know. It's really a, it's kind of a crazy looking fish. It's really orange. I've caught a couple of these before. They hang out in the kelp. Um, really cool looking fish though, but he is not cooperating. I'm trying to get him off the hook. He's got a really strong bite, like I can't open his mouth, but it's a crazy looking fish. I'll let him go. Uh, another species on the list. Try it again. Just saw some more Bonita jump up over here, so I'm going to throw out uh, lure again. Right out here. Oh. Man, there's a whole school Bonita out there just jumping, just boiling on the bait. Um, I got this guy, I was pulling him in, and a calico almost grabbed him. And he's going in the water. Another different species, like a mackerel. <laughs> oh, and just like that, they're gone. <laughs> I got two out of it real quick. They came up and we're chasing the bait everywhere. It's pretty exciting. It's a school of them. I guess there was that mackerel mixed in with those bonita, but uh, yeah, I got two and they're gone now. It's only they're only here about a minute. And I got two really quick. I'm going to keep casting and see if I can get pick up a, a straggler here. So, when you're out here on the jetties, you know, you have a lot of opportunities. There's lots of different types of fish here, a lot of different species. You know, you got all the bass, basically. You've got uh, the perch. I've got smelt, we've got some uh, pelagics like the bonita and the mackerel. I'm catching a barracuda today, but typically there's usually a, uh, a couple of barracuda out here too. Um, but just kind of know what you need to do. Like I said, I was using that one uh, uh, jerk shad. I was reeling that fast across the surface, and that's how I was catching this bonita and uh, a few of those mackerel. And when I was dropping it down to the letting it go sink and reeling it in slower, I got a couple of calico bass that way. Um, when that slowed down, I chummed a little bit with the mussels, got a different rig, small one with just a split shot and a small hook, and uh, used mussel and caught a bunch of perch and a couple other ones. So, you know, 
I always have a couple different rod setups uh, when you come out here. Uh, I didn't really throw anything out with a heavier weight. We can, you can totally do that out here. Um, a lot of guys do that. I just don't normally do it because um, there's a lot of rocks, a lot of grass. You really have to use um, uh, a lot of, uh, like, you do, well, I should say have to use it. You should just be really careful when you're fishing because the rocks go out, you know, about 10 or 15 feet off the jetty where it drops in. So it's real easy to get snagged. Uh, the reason I was using the light uh, light line, the light weights, is because I can kind of control and see where my bait's going the whole time, and I can keep it out of the kelp and out of the rocks. Um, so that's kind of the reason I was doing that. Uh, but, you know, maybe next time I'll come out here and I'll throw it out, you know, a piece of mackerel, maybe we'll catch a leopard shark or something like that. But um, overall, pretty good day for summertime fishing here in Corona del Mar. And... Uh, Thanks again guys for watching and uh, we will see you in the next video.